Okay, I'm going to presume that you're back. So we've already done this part and I hope you found your seven items. Now we're going to just start this morning. Um, and Team Indonesia, I hope that you're ready as well because I can't see you now. Um, give me two seconds. They say that they can't hear us. Aaron, they say they can't hear us. Okay, can all of y'all hear me? If you can hear me, give me a wave. Okay, cool. I think now they can hear us. All right, we're going to start and I'm going to start with a word of prayer. Can I have all eyes closed and every head bowed so that I can begin with a word of prayer? All right. Father Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for this time. Um, although we have so many challenges, um, you know, it is really a pleasure for us to be gathered together in your presence for the word says when two or more are gathered together in your name there you shall be in our midst so lord this is the first time we're doing a gathering of so many children from so many different countries and lord we just want to be here together to give you to all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. So help us today, even as we come from different backgrounds, different countries, different languages, help us to learn together from your word. In Jesus' name, I ask and I pray. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Okay. Amen. Now, I want everyone to stand up together with me, okay? So the reason we are in this kind of a setup is because we want everyone to be up and about, you know, so that we can at least sing together and we can dance together, all right? So we're going to do one song with you right now. It's called L-O-V-E. So I think some of you will know this song. If you know this song, give me a thumbs up. If you know this song, give me a thumbs up. Excellent. All right. Okay. Very good. Now, I hope you're standing. If you have your brother or your sister next to you, get everyone standing up together and your mom and all that as well. All right. And we're going to sing this song together. Okay. Here we go. I hope you all can hear the music. Now, everyone, put one hand up. Put one hand up. Okay. Not here. Is the music coming through? Sing. God has given us all we need to be free. It's about you, it's about me, it's about the truth that sets us free. It's about love from the Father up above. It's about hope, it's about life, it's about the love of Jesus. It's about everlasting, never failing love. Come on now, let's open up the book. Come on now, and take a good long look. And see, God has given us all we need to be. It's about you, it's about me, 
It's about the truth that sets us free It's about love from the Father up above It's about hope, it's about life It's about the love of Jesus Christ It's about everlasting, never failing love It's about you, it's about me it's about the truth that sets us free It's about L-O-V-E Love from the Father up above It's about hope, it's about life It's about the love of Jesus Christ It's about everlasting, never failing love It's about everlasting, never failing Love. It's about everlasting, never failing, ever faithful, never ending love. Very good. If you are with somebody at home next to you right now, this is what I want you to do. Turn to someone and say, God loves you. Right? God, God loves, loves you. you. God loves, God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. All right. Very good. Now, we're going to skip on ahead, right? Because we are a little bit late today. So, we're going to play our game right now. So, just now, how many of you have found all your items? Give me a thumbs up again. All right. I'm just going to give everyone a very, very quick, um, you know, moment in case you haven't found your items. All right. We're going to play this game called Color of the Rainbow. So, I hope you found all your seven items already. Red, yellow, blue, green, purple, pink, orange. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a set of formation. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Let me see which group of you, you can... Uh, rearrange the color the fastest, okay? And then what you can do is you can point your camera a little bit down and then you can show me all your items, okay? Here we go. Ready? Set number one. Let's see whether you can do the colors in this formation. All right. Lay your object, lay your object. So it doesn't matter if you're starting from the right or you're starting from the left. If you're starting from the right, I want to see purple, pink, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Now, if it's the other way around, then you're going to see purple, pink, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Okay? And now, because I'm seeing the PowerPoint slide and I'm looking at the camera, so I can't really see whether you're doing it correctly, but I've got Coco Aaron, all right, who's on the other computer and he's going to be helping me to see whether you've got it done correctly. Okay? So, Coco Aaron, how are the children looking? Are they getting wow. their colors Some correct them, or not? Most of them are still running around getting oh, their most stuff. Most of them are still running the around getting their stuff. On. I, cannot, okay. I, cannot, I cannot see, I cannot see, I cannot see. You can't see anything. I saw, I think some of the teachers, I think some of the teachers just now, they already got all the items ready. Yeah? Now, I hope the rest of you, just now those that were running all around, okay, if you're ready, here's the second set now. Here we go. Alright, can you form them in this color? Yellow, pink, red, green, purple, orange, blue. Alright? Yellow, pink, red, green, purple, orange, blue. All right. Now, let's see. Let's see. I can be the first color. Yellow. I'm in yellow. Coco Aaron, though you can't see him in the camera, he's in blue. So he's on the other side of the spectrum. Let's ha! see. Oh, he's going to join me now. Yeah. All right. And then we got Coco Caleb, who's in red. Okay. He's got red color. Who else? Who else? Ta -da! Okay. Dun, 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 with the Sesame Street gang. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Coco Aaron, look at the camera. Let's see whether the rest of the children managed to put all the colors in their correct order. Wow, some, wow. Some, some, this girl got like so many trucks and cars. Wow, so many trucks and cars. Amazing. Can I borrow one? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. One day, okay, when we go to your country, we'll catch up with all of you and you can show us your toys real life. But how are they doing in terms of the formation? Are the colors correct? All mm. looking good? Very good. Okay, if you yeah, are wow. done, so high five your friend. High five your friend or your brother, your sister, your mom or whoever that's next to you. Okay, if you have nobody next to you, it's okay. High five me in the camera. High five. High five. All right. I saw some of you high 10 me. Okay, I give you back 10. 10. Here you go. Okay, let's look at the next set. Next set. Number three. Let's go. Blue, green, orange, pink, purple, red, and yellow. All right. Blue, green, orange, pink, Purple, red, and yellow. All right. Let's see whether you can get this one done now. Okay. 
Excellent. All right. Got you, got you. Okay. Now, let's see whether the children are doing okay, Coco Aaron. How's it looking? How is it looking? Wow. Well, some of them are doing so well. Some of them are dancing with the balloons. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> dancing with the balloons. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Okay. All right. Are they all done? Are they all giving? If you're done, you must give us a thumbs up, you know? If not, we don't know that you're done, yeah? You can give us a thumbs up icon or you can do a, you know, a smiley face or whatsoever. Or you can just do the real thumbs up, right? Show us your thumbs. That works too. Yeah? Cool. All right, let's do set number four. We got two more to go, two more to go. Set number four begins now, okay? And that is yellow, green, oh, sorry, yellow, red, green, orange, blue, pink, and purple. All right, or if you're going to do it from the other way around, it's purple, pink, blue. Orange, green, red, yellow. Doesn't matter, left to right or right to left. It doesn't matter. Right? We just want you to be able to put the colors in order in some way, whether it's facing you or it's facing me. All right, how are we looking, Koko Iren? Wow. Some not of them still bad, dancing uh. the balloons, but okay, la, not bad, not bad, not bad. Good job, children. Okay, wow, I see. What was that person raising up? Huh? Is that the whole tray or the whole table or... Or is it the camera that's moving? It's just, it's just, it's just the whole tree. Oh, the whole, whole tree. tree of trucks. Wow, amazing. Okay, let's do one last one. They look like they're all professional color sorters right now, okay? Let's do the last one, all right? And that's going to be orange, yellow, red, purple, green, blue, and pink. Okay, how are we looking on that one? Has it time for any of them? Are, are any of them stuck? <laughs> Probably not. They're all professionals already, yeah? All color sorters. Are they done? It looks like they're all done. Great. All right, children, if you're done, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, I see some of you. Woohoo! All right. Yeah, excellent. Okay, thank you so much for playing our Color of the Rainbow games, okay? Give yourself a big round of applause. Woo. All right, excellent. Now, I want to tell you all, there's not only just us in Singapore that's gathering in this room here to conduct this program. We have another bunch of people in Indonesia, all the way on another continent, on another island, actually. Um, and I want you all to put your hands together and welcome Team Indonesia. Team Indonesia, are you there? Team Indonesia. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Team Indonesia. I hear you have a song for us. Can I let y'all take over and you know um sing us uh, or uh, lead us into this time of another song so that we can sing together with you? All right, all right, kids. Wherever you are, we know that our God Jesus makes everything possible. Together with us, nothing is impossible. Woohoo! Let's stand up together. Through you, I can do
recordings. I believe, I believe. Come on, let's believe in you. I believe, I believe in you. I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe in you. Let's clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, kids, wherever you are, even though you are in a big city, in a small town, in a village, in your room, in the kitchen, or even in the toilet, ooh, we know that God makes everything possible. He can restore your family. Yes. He can bless your family. Yes, amen. And He can give you an eternal life. Oh, I love you, Jesus. But now, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There's a story. Kak Gabby. Yep. Kak Sylvie. Yes. I heard there's a story. There are people around us today. <gasps> And who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Are you ready, kids? <gasps> I can't hear you. Are you ready, kids? Just. Shake your hand and say yes. Not shake like this, but not, not, not. I am super, super ready. Okay. Are we here? Are we there? Some people? Ooh, 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 who, who is this? Whoa! We have guests now. Oh. Wow. wow. We have guests. I think two guys. And one remain, and we are looking for where are she, where are he? Where, where, are, he? where, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Yeah. Where is she? Let's let's call her. Let's call her. Yeah yeah yeah. Hey hey girls. Hey. Hey. Hi, girls. girls. Hey. Yeah, women. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? She or he? She 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 she. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Do you see her? Wow, it's wow, so hey, beautiful. Hey, hey. Children, please. This uh this uh our guest, please you uh, I will ask the question for yeah, 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 three yeah. guests now. Wow. So and good, yeah. so you can uh the Yeah, you can guess our guess. Who are he or who are she? Who is she or who is he? Okay. Yay. I have the question one. Okay, okay. Yeah, question one. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Tell us a bit of yourself. What you are most famous for in the Bible. Mm. You know, there's a saying. Ladies go first. Okay, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, ladies first. So who is she? So is she. The king picked me as a queen out of mm. thousand other girls. Mm. Wow. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. What about you? So, so uh, let me tell you that my mother is pray for a for for a long time for a baby. My my mother is pray. Lord, give me a baby. Lord, give me a baby. Oh. And, then, and then me, and then me, and then me. Oh. Yeah. Okay, your you turn. Know, I have a lot of brothers. Oh yeah? I am not the only one. Oh yeah? How many, how many are brothers? Can, can, you, can you give us? That's oh. a secret. <laughs> ah. I have a lot of brothers. I have a loving dad. I have a loving mom. And I am the most loved. Oh, yeah, yeah, My yeah, dad yeah. loved me the most. Oh. Wait, 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 Children, uh, please, attention. Okay. 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 And until uh, the end of the story, you can guess yeah. who is she, who is she. Okay. Bye. Question number two. Okay. What was broken in your story? What 
was broken in your story. Please, ladies first. Okay. Or okay, let me, let me, let me. Oh, let yeah, me okay, 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 let okay. Me okay. okay, kids. Uh, I'm living in the temple. So my mother gave me in the temple. So I live in a temple in a uh -huh. high priest. So so she or my mom can can visit me every day. Oh. And the high priest ha has a two sons. Has a two sons. But I'm sorry, mm. they had a. I think I think that has a good. Uh, I think has, they has a bad moral. Ah. I I live in temple, but the the priest has a bad moral. So oh. but my mother can visit me every day. Wow. I'm sad about that. Oh, who are you guys? Mm. Okay, next. You know, since I was little. I have the ability to tell the meaning of a dream. Mm. But one day, yeah. I told my father about my dream. Ah. And he did not like it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Why? Whoa. The man that loved me the most don't like my dream. Oh, wow. Not only my father, not only my father, my brother also don't like my dream. Oh, so isn't yeah. that ironic? You know, it hurts for me. Maybe I don't like your dream too. You want to know my dream? <laughs> it's secret. Yeah, you know, so... my brother take my clothes and kick me out of the house. Wow! wow, 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 wow. That's, bad. That's bad. That's bad. Hey kids, yes. hey, kids. do you know him? Who are you? I am not ah. anymore their brother. I am not anymore their son. Oh. Okay, next. You still have brothers. And you still have parents. Meanwhile, me, me, oh, oh. I have no parents. Oh, oh, it's so I only so had sad. cousin. Oh, yeah, I only had cousins, and that's the only relationship I had. Oh, so it's, sad. I'm sorry Please for don't that. be crying. I'm, I'm sorry for mm. that. I'm sorry to that. Okay, ah, uh, the children are uh, please attention. And the last question for you. And then, how does the word restore apply to your story? Oh. Restore apply to your story. Oh, I, 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 I know that, I know that. Ah, you go first. This amazing go first. story. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, you think, you, you remember that, I, that um, high priest sons has a bad moral for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I start to, to pray God and, 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 and ask God to help me to mm -hmm. to teach me. Yeah. Even though my around me are friends, uh, the high priest sons is a yeah. bad. But I think I have to pray God. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Amazing. Okay, who's next? Me. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone yeah. named Mordecai. Oh, oh. who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Yeah. Who is Mordecai. He? It's a secret. If I oh, tell oh, you, yeah, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mordecai remind me that I had the opportunity to save my people. Oh yeah, yeah. You do? She has people. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. wow. So how about you? Okay. Uh, after my brother kicked me out of the house, I was being sold. Wow. Oh, and oh, tragedy. I, I, I became a slave. Mm. I became a slave for several, several time. And then after being a slave, I become a prisoner too. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I yeah. became a prisoner. And, but, but, I believe that is God's plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You That's know, good, good, you know good, good, good. When, when my brothers kicked me out, I chose to forgive them. Do you know why I forgive them? What? Because there is God's love. Oh, wow. that's, that's cute, isn't it? Do you... No, who am I? Okay, okay, children. Who are they now? Okay. Uh, the first guys, please. Uh, step up, step, uh, step up. Yes. Who is he? Okay. Please chat in the chat room. Okay. Who is he? Yes. He is. Samuel! Samuel! Correct, right. Please, the next, the above. Yes. Who is C? 
Okay, please chat in the chat room. Who am I? Uh, who, uh, please who, who guess. Are you? Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Yeah, Easter. Yes, my name is Easter. Yeah, Esther. And then Esther. This, this is the the last guest, our guest. Yes, please chat in the chat room. Who am I? Who is he? Who am I? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, correct. He is Joseph. Wow. Okay, thank you, thank so you much, guys. Pastor Tony. Thank you. Can we give Pastor Tony and all those people in Indonesia a big round of applause? Okay. Now your turn, <laughs> Darius. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you for picking up where the technical difficulties started to happen, okay? So children, you know, I wanted to share with all of you and Pastor Tony has helped me to come in and do all of that. Really, our D6 conference today is about restoring, restoring family relationships, restoring, you know, discipleships. Discipleships means teaching of other people. And, you know, we wanted to share with you these three stories really because it's not so dissimilar in our world today what happened in the past. In the past, Esther, for example, they live in a time where there was war and, you know, they were captured and brought to another country. Isn't it true that even today, we still have wars in some parts of the world? It's very sad, right? And so you see relationships are broken, families are torn apart. And when you look at the life of Samuel, Samuel was a blessing to his parents, his, his mother especially, who prayed so much for him. But eventually, while he was serving in the church, he grew up in an environment where there were a lot of people that, um, especially Eli's two sons, lah, not a lot of people, but Eli's two sons, who was very, very naughty. They did all the things that was wrong in God's eyes. And why does this apply to us today? Because sometimes we also do things that are wrong. And you know what? We often tell people, not me, not me, my friend, my friend. So, you know, through all of all these things, God really wants to restore all of us back to himself as well. And one of the last examples when we really talk about family was about the story of Joseph. When Joseph was from the favorite son, he became a prisoner, he became a slave, he became finally the prime minister. And guess what? When he was ruling over Egypt, his brothers came to buy rice from him. He could have taken the opportunity to take revenge. Ah, y'all sell me away, right? Now I punish you. But he didn't. Because he loved his brother so much, he decided to restore himself back to his brothers and sisters. So that's why I want to come to share with you this memory verse today. What is very important if you learn anything today, is that, you know, the Bible tells us that if anyone has Christ or if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, and the new is here. Now, can I just ask all of you children, all right, um, you know, don't have to, to feel shy or anything, but can I just ask you all very quickly, has anyone here ever done anything naughty before? If you have, you can put up your hands and just show to me. I have done many things naughty before. How about all the adults down here? The adults, have we ever done anything naughty or done anything wrong before? Can wow, we just show? I see so many hands. Uh, I see so many hands. Wow, yeah, there are so many hands, right? So all of us have ever done something that's wrong before. But especially, you know, today we are talking about wrong to our mommies and daddies or wrongs to our brothers and sisters. Um, let, let me just ask anyone here, did you quarrel with your mommy and daddy in the last mm, three days? In the last three days. Did anyone quarrel with your mommy and daddy? Did you shout or throw a tantrum like, no, I want to do this. No, I want to watch TV. Have or not? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, some of us, we would have thrown a temper or, you know, we would have been very unhappy. We, we didn't get our way. But you know what? The good thing is this. If you want to change, there is a solution. And the solution is Jesus. The solution is God. Because the Bible says the new has come and the old has gone. How many of you want to get rid of all your old self? That means all these naughty things that you have done before. Yes? Yes, if you want, Jesus is here to do that for you. 
So before we close in a time of prayer, um, boys and girls, I want to just hand the time back to the Indonesian team because they're going to sing for us a very beautiful song called Jesus, I Love You. And so as they sing this song, Jesus, I Love You, I want you to listen to the words of the song. And if possible, you know, as you're listening to the words of the song, you'll seek and you look into your heart and you ask yourself, Jesus, I love you. Change me. Help me be a person that will restore relationships and not tear and break them down. So I'm going to come back shortly in a while to close in prayer. But right now, I'm going to hand the time to Team Indonesia, who's going to sing this next song for us. Okay, kids, now let's worship God together before we pray. We want to thank you, Jesus, for everything that he has done for all of us. Thanks for your stubborn love for me. Just grace and mercy that I see. From my heart comes a simple song. We desire.
How many of you love the song that was just sang? Yes? How many of you love Jesus? Right. You know, boys and girls, if you don't mind, all around the room, can I just get you to close your eyes and bow your heads for a moment? Now, I know we are all in different parts of the world, you know, and some of you, you don't know me really, and, you know, it's the first time we're seeing each other, but I believe that, you know, in due time, we will get more and more opportunities to meet with each other and to learn more about God's Word. But right now, I want to just take this opportunity to pray in closing. Now, wherever you are, you could be in Japan right now. You could also be in Singapore, right? And you could also be in Indonesia, watching this either in the church or you're watching this on the live stream on the Indonesian TV, right? I want you to know, truly, as you love Jesus, Jesus loves you even more. And Jesus loves you to the point that He wants to restore all your relationships. Now, at this point in time, you might think to yourself, it's so difficult. I fight with my brothers and sisters every day. I quarrel with my mommy and daddy every day. And maybe even for some of you, your mommy and your daddy quarrel with each other every day. Right? But God's love can heal and cover a multitude of sins. So it really doesn't matter what is going on in your life today. The first thing you need to do, the first step you need to decide is do you want to take a step closer to restoring the relationship? In order to restore the relationship with your brothers and sisters, in order to restore the relationship with mommy and daddy, the first thing you must do is restore your relationship with God. Because if you don't restore your relationship with God, God's love cannot flow through you into the other people. So at this point in time, I want to ask all of you, wherever you are, do you want to let God's love flow through you into the other people? If you want that, as your eyes are closed and your heads are bowed, can you just put up your hand? Or if your cameras are not on and you're a bit shy, can you just put a hands up or a thumbs up sign? We will see you also. And I'm going to pray for you. We're going to pray that you restore your relationship with God and God's love will flow through you. And then we'll do a second prayer for all of our families down here, all right? And children, believe me, I know God wants love to flow through your family. So right now, I'm just going to count five, four, three, two, one, zero. And if you want us to pray for you, you just put up your hands or give me a thumbs up or you use the symbol if you didn't turn on your camera. All right? Five. Four. Thank you for those hands. Three. Two. One. And zero. And I, I'm going to believe by faith that there are so many of those people watching on Facebook Live, watching on YouTube. They've got their hands up, but we just can't see it via the Zoom. So let's pray. Father Lord Jesus, all around this Zoom meeting room and even on Facebook Live and YouTube Live, we know that there are children right now watching and listening to this. And Lord, their cry of their heart as the, word, as the song goes is that they want to be restored with you. Because only when we are restored with you, Lord, can your love flow through us. And Lord, the one way that we can receive that flowing of love is to believe that you are our Savior and you died on the cross for that sin. So Lord, everything that we have done, Lord, we just give it to you right now. And Lord, may you just forgive us. Forgive us and make us whole again. And like the memory verse says, the new has come, the old has gone. And so right now, as the children confess their sins, they give it up to you, Lord Father. May their old self slowly fade away as you build them to be a new person. And as their new person starts to develop, starts to grow day by day, you're going to fill them with so much love that they are going to outflow that love back to the people around them. So Lord Jesus, we just want to ask that you start to work in the lives and in the hearts of all the children um, who are represented here and put up their hands, Lord Father. May you do that. Thank you. In Jesus' name we ask and we pray. 
Amen. Now, the second part I want to just pray is if any of you, you have, you know, brothers and sisters and, you know, family members, and you may be very, very good with them, all right? I don't want to make it sound like everybody has problems with their families, okay, children? And some of you, you may have or you may not have. But the second prayer right now we're going to ask for is let's pray for everyone in general. How many of you want God to bless your family? Huh? How many of you want to be blessed with good health? You know, how many of you want to be blessed with good results? Right? And how many of you want your mommy and daddy to be blessed with good jobs, for example? Right? They don't have bosses that give them a hard time. And then when they have a hard time, they come back and give you a hard time, right? Okay, so how many of you want God to bless your parents as well? Yes? If you want God to bless your parents as well, I'd like you for the, to just close your eyes in a moment. We're going to pray for everyone in your household. And it's going to start from you. You represent them, okay? So you represent them and God's blessing is going to flow through you to the rest of your family. All right? So if you want God to bless your family, same thing, I'm going to count five to zero. And if you want, you just put up your hands, all right? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for all those hands that are up. Let's pray. Father Lord Jesus, all around this room again, there are children who put up their hands. There are adults that put up their hands as well. And once again, we believe that on Facebook and on YouTube, those that are watching, they are listening to this and they also want their families to be blessed. Lord, I just ask right now because your Bible says, Lord, your word says that when one person is saved, he and his household will be saved as well. So Lord Jesus, as you have just restored the children, Lord Father, I pray right now that there will be restoration in the families as well. So Lord Jesus, as they represent their daddies, their mommies, their brothers, their sisters, their grandparents, their uncles and aunties, their cousins, everybody, the whole family, Lord Father. Lord, because they are standing in their place, Lord, you will bless all these other people because of the children and the teachers and the families that are represented here. And Lord, because of that blessing, the blessings will become blessings for even more people and it will flow abundantly across households and households, neighbourhoods and neighbourhoods, Lord Father. And Lord, that is what you call us to be. You call us to be your people, your children, so that we can be a blessing to other people. So Lord, I just ask that even in the midst of all of this COVID and all these things, Lord Father, you will keep everyone safe, you will keep everyone healthy, Lord, even as the children go to school, their parents go to work, Lord, may you bless everyone with good results. Give them, you know, the attention that they need in school. And at the same time, you give their daddies and mommies favor among not just God, but with men, so that they will be able to do well at work. And Lord Father, take care of the household. So Lord Jesus, we want to lift up all the families represented here today unto your throne of grace. And so, Lord Jesus, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. And all boys and girls say, Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. we're going to do one last thing, all right? We've got a couple more minutes left. Just going to take my controller. Did they borrow my jar away? They did. Can you just pass me that box over there then, Coco? Caleb. Now, children, in our last part, all right, now your mommy and daddies are listening to this in the main service as well. But over here, since they borrow away my jar, I'm going to just use this box, all right? So now, what is this relationship building jar, relationship building box? Now, it's not a craft that we're going to do now, now per se, but later on, all right, with your mommies and daddies, because like I shared with you, they are talking about it in the main service as well. We want you all to find a nice little box, all right? You can decorate it. I didn't decorate this one, but you can decorate it with, you know, flowers or ribbons and all these others. Or instead of a box, you can use a jar. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to call this the relationship building jar, all right? Or the family jar. So what is a family jar? Now, we want you to sit down with your mommy and daddy and then as a family, you're going to write down things on papers and store it inside this jar or inside the box like a treasure chest. And what are you going to write? So for example, you can write, I want to learn how to be more patient. So in my jar, I lent it to the others so that they can talk to your mommy and daddies about it. I wrote that, okay? That was in my family jar. I as the daddy. So in case you don't know, I've got two children and I wrote as a daddy, I will try to be more patient. 
And you know why? Because sometimes as a father, I am a little bit impatient. When my children are a bit slow or when they are a bit naughty, I, as a father, I do scold them sometimes. So I promised them. I wrote in the, uh, on the paper and I put it in the jar and I put it in the box. I said, okay, daddy will try to be more patient. All right. And then my son, my son also wrote, all right. Uh, he will try to do things, um, you know, properly and not monkey around because my son is seven years old and he's now in that mischievous mode. Huh? So everything he does, he wants to play and all that. So what he has written is he'll try to do everything properly. Okay, By what I mean by properly is when he's brushing his teeth, he'll brush his teeth properly. He won't play with the water, so on and so forth. And in that way, he's going to show love to me because he will be following my instructions properly. Right, so you understand what I'm saying? So right now we're encouraging all right, every family to find your own little box, to find your own little jar and write promises to yourself and write things that can help you build your relationship. So for some of you, let me just ask, how many of your mommy and daddies do devotion with you every night? Yes? Very good. So if your mommy and daddy do devotion for you every night and with you every night, that's part of relationship building as well, right? That's part of discipleship. So y'all can, as a family, write and put inside your box. We want to do devotion every night together. All right? So that's something you can do. Now, how many of you, your mommy and daddies, sing songs with you? All right? And I'm not talking about old McDonald's you know, or you know, the wheels of the bus go round and round kind of songs. Yeah? We're talking about like Christian music, Christian songs. So maybe you want to write something like that as well, right? That we want to worship God together. So you, it could be a promise that you want to do and you can write that on the paper, fill it in the box, fill it in a jar and then place the box and the jar somewhere in the house where y'all can remember. So maybe you want to put it on the dining table, for example. Or maybe some of you, the place that everyone walks by is the television, right? So you can put it down there and every time y'all see the box, y'all see the jar, you will remember the things that you've written right in there. And if you forgot, you can just open it and take out the paper and read again. And you can say, hey mom, we haven't done devotion today, right? We promise that we'll do this together to build relationships. All right, so children, I hope this is something that y'all can um, work together with your mommy and daddies in, um, you know, after this conference to start your relationship building jar. How many of you think you can do it? Yeah? Yes? Easy? Easy, right? Okay, excellent. So with that, boys and girls, we are already at the end of our sharing for today. I want to thank you so much for being with all of us here, you know, us in Team Singapore over here, as well as those in Indonesia. Can we get the Indonesian team to come back, uh, back up you know, on your videos and say bye to all the children as well? Bye, team Indon, everyone. are you there? God bless you. Team Indonesia. Can you hear me? We can't hear you, but... Can we see y'all waving? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, children. Thank you so much. Let me just close in a word of prayer very, very quickly. All right. So dear Lord Jesus, we thank you once again for this time that we can come and learn about how you restore relationships, how you restore families together. And Lord, while there's so much to learn, there's so much to do, I pray that today is just that little tiny first steps for all of the children here that they will go back and start to think for themselves, that they don't have to worry about all the things around them. All they need to do is take that first step to become a new creation in you. The old has passed and the new has come. And with this new person that you are making them to be, they will be a person that loves people and they will be a person that builds relationships in their families and among their friends as well. And Lord, we know that through all of this, we will be able to build and restore our family relationships together. So Lord, watch over everybody, every child, every mommy and daddy, every teacher, every musician that is all part of this conference today. And Lord, may you hatch your angels around us to protect us so that we can go about doing what you want us to do, which is to bless other people. So we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask and we pray. And I hope all of you are saying a big amen. 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 Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing all of you again.